I actually was couch surfing for about four or five years and I had an argument with a friend and uh, she thought it was being sarcastic but she said uh, the only thing you'd be good at is cooking and making people laugh and I think I got depressed about it for five minutes and then I was like I am I'm really funny like okay I'll just do comedy like and then I think two weeks later I started going to birds then two weeks after that I got on at birds and I've been doing it for about three years now. There's that, that movie Rudy. Like, you know, when, like, yeah. you know, like it's the scene Rudy, when everyone, like, brings their jerseys in, like, that's how I imagine, like, quarterbacks feel and, like, people that are, like, good at chess. Like, when you win, like, that's how I felt. I felt like I was winning for the first time as, like, a dude that wasn't often used to winning. And it, it felt good. And that's, that's how I knew, man. Like, I feel like this is like two opposite sides of my personality uh -oh. because I love Kings of Comedy, but I also love like blue collar comedy tour. <laughs> shows, and I feel like those are like the two biggest opposite like ends of it. And uh, oh god, uh, Martin Lawrence run tell that. I remember I literally was in the theater alone when I saw that movie. Uh, I was like 12 years old. I shouldn't have been in there, but <laughs> and it was great. That's what made me like love it. Like yeah, run tell that. This is my favorite fucking comedy special. Like Martin Lawrence for sure. Scary movie one through two. <laughs> like, yeah. The third one, I feel yeah. like, like I'm very racist about like that. Once they got rid of the Wayman brothers, I was like, fuck this. Like I'm not watching this shenanigans. Like this is just a softcore airplane. Uh, airplane. That's also a good oh, one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, what'd you say? That '70s show? Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> I said Friends. Yeah, that show's fun. Yeah, that show's only fun for white people. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So fun. <laughs> like, but no. Uh, what is it, the Waynans Brothers? That was like one of my favorite shows. Um, I don't know if uh, fucking The O.C. was a sitcom, but it should have been. Like, it was funny. I liked uh, Frasier, which is weird for a black guy. No, Frasier's great. Frasier was good. Frasier was good. Uh, as far as comedies go, like, I don't know. I feel like as a black dude, it's weird to say I like a lot of Canadian indie like comedies. Like, I like this movie like Weirdsville. Uh, I like a lot of weird like anime shit, man. You made me think about it. Now I gotta question my morals. Like, <laughs> it's like, do I like good stuff? I don't know anymore. Like, Chappelle Show, um, In Living Color. Uh, I don't know if Jackass counts as a sketch show, but it should. Yeah, ja yeah. I was like, Jackass should count. Um. Wild Boys was really good. Yeah, I thought I thought Steve O leaving the band was kind of like you know, like that was the Justin Timberlake. Of MTV. <laughs> that was it was oh, the Justin yeah, Timberlake yeah, yeah, yeah. MTV. He's like I'm rolling solo, bitches. Like I'm gonna hook fish hook myself on my own, and it was crazy. Uh, yeah, I think In Living Color and Chappelle Show. I think my top two though. I think Bernie Mac's motherfucker joke. Just because he made one word into this, like, godly, like, joke to the point where it, made, it makes a word that most, I guess, society deem really fucked up. Like, motherfucker is seen as such a hard word. Like, it's harsh, like, by society. Like, that's a hard term. Like, motherfucker, you fuck mothers. Like, that's hard. And Bernie Mac made that, like, a personified thing that's, like... He made it okay to curse, and I think that's fucking crazy. Like, so yeah, Bernie Mac's motherfucker joke. Cat Williams. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Uh, I would actually really like to do it, because I, since I, like, opened for Stanhope, I'd like to complete that. Like, just oh, to get, yeah! Like, just to get them to talk shit about each other, like, be like, yeah, I knew they hated each other. <laughs> like, like the Man Show season three was bullshit. Like I'm right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but like, yeah. Uh, well, because the producers, but whatever. I would love uh, just because I know it'd be an interesting show. I'd probably do like Ron Funches. 
Uh, definitely uh, Martin Lawrence again, just because I know it'd probably be a making a comeback tour. So I know that tour would be uh, one of those ex insane experiences. And yeah, like, oh yeah, man. Like, I have dreams. Patrice O'Neill. I would have Gilbert Godfrey, uh, the worst. Richard Pryor. <laughs> I hate his voice. Just because he he roasted everyone on his dais on like Richard Pryor's roast, and he fucking destroyed everyone who tried to roast him. And I thought that was just the supreme being of roasting. Uh, I would go Bill Burr just because he's not afraid of roasting a black person. Like, and I think Bill Burr would hit it like right at home. I'd be really stunned. Uh. Um, let me think about it. Who else? Uh, Chris Tucker, just because I think he he had a good time roasting people. And, yeah, and also, uh, what's he up to? Tracy Jordan. Or, oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, like not Tracy Morgan, but Tracy Jordan from Thirty Rock. Just because I feel like. That'd be the primo uh, okay, version. Yeah, check, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, look at you, Chuck Johnson. Oh, what's Liz Lemon? Like, like, I would love my ass off with that shit. Like, yeah, man, that'd be my five. Like, Tracy Morgan as his character from 30 Rock, that's my five. Just because I know he'd fucking destroy me and then make me not want to roast people anymore. Like... I want to start writing more. I'd like to do a good bit of writing. I have an all-black cast of Batman that I want to do. Um, I also have a Star Wars Boys in the Hood crossover reboot that I really want to get uh, like, put out there. <laughs> I feel like I can only do it in the Trump era. No. <laughs> that's the only way it's going to Get hustling, man. But yeah, I want to I wanna write and I want to eventually uh, work on directing more. I just, yeah. I just right. want to see old Ben Kenobi get shot down in an alley. Oh no, I'm going the other <laughs> way. Like, I'm going more so like, Ricky! Yeah. Like, I'm going like, still Ricky hood. Ricky just gives himself but, like, to the Imagine Ice Cube with fucking light, like, yeah. lightning fingers. Yeah. Like, bye I Felicia. <laughs> 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 Comedy world domination. That's, that's my goal. Amy. Netflix by 2020. Hashtag. Yeah. Tech Johnson on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Tech Johnson Facebook. Uh, Tech Johnson fan page. And uh, I don't tweet. So, yeah. What? YouTube. Oh, and uh, Tech Johnson <laughs> on YouTube. Social media managers, right. man. I want them to realize that not every black comedian is in a box. And people are all over the place with what they want to think and want to feel. And it's okay to enjoy random shit that you're not used to. And I like to try to provide that in whatever I'm doing. So, yeah, the, enjoy the unexpected. That's what I like people to take away from my comedy. How you doing? Uh, my name is Comedian Ted Johnson. Not Comedian, it's not the first name. Uh, this interview and uh, awesome stuff is on cutiepie.com. Make sure you hit that up. It's like World Star, but for comedians. It's dope.